um, you should watch for, or the patient should watch for during the second and uh, third trimesters, uh, include um, like a gush of fluid. Uh, this could be uh, amniotic fluid leakage, uh, which can lead to complications of the amniotic sac and the fetus, uh, the growth of the fetus because it doesn't have enough amniotic fluid inside of it. It could be a rupture of membranes too. So want to look out for that. Uh, you might also want to look out for uterine contractions uh, prior to 37 weeks of gestation uh, because it can be alert for either uh, a preterm pregnancy or an abortion. Uh, you can also look out for vaginal bleeding. Uh, could be placenta previa or eruptio placentia. Or placentia. Percent, placenta. And might require emergency interventions. If it's like light bleeding, uh, with no pain, then it's placenta previa. If it's dark bleeding with lots of pain, then it's eruptio placenta. Uh, if you have severe back pain, it means your abdomen's growing and it's causing strain on your back muscles and it's affecting your posture. So you're gonna feel a lot of um, pressure in your back. If you have any uh, stomach pain or epigastric pain, uh, it could be pressure from the womb stretching, but it can also be an initial sign of preeclampsia. If you're having severe headaches, it's also a sign of preeclampsia, and you might wanna check on your blood pressure Blood pressure if it continues uh, to come back. If you're experiencing any visual disturbances, you immediately check in with your provider because it is, a, it is also a sign of preeclampsia and it's also a dangerous thing to have especially if you're driving or doing anything alone uh, changes in fetal movements will be normal uh, and they will be more frequent uh, it's nothing to be alarmed of but if it concerns you you can go check in with your healthcare provider as well and uh, swelling of the fingers the face the ankles and the feet and the hands um, they're also normal uh, because the body is retaining more fluid uh, to meet the needs of the developing baby. So if you find swelling in any of these areas, it will be normal. In any other areas, go to your provider. Okay.